The test will have six questions on clutch diagnosis and repair. The main parts are the flywheel, clutch disc, and pressure plate. All these are found inside the clutch housing. All three items have a friction surface. The clutch has friction surface on both sides because it's in between. First, let's talk clutch chatter. It is a shaking that is felt only when the clutch is being engaged. Only when the clutch is being engaged. So basically anything that affects the friction surface are these three components. If any of them is bent or if there's oil on any other friction surfaces, will cause clutch chatter. And clutch chatter can also be caused by a broken pressure plate finger or weak clutch torsion springs. Moving on to clutch slippage. This is with the clutch fully engaged. Slippage happens when you accelerate and the engine RPMs increase, but vehicle speed does not. The clutch is slipping and not transferring power. This also has to do with the friction surfaces. If any of them is bent or if there is oil contamination on any of them, it will cause slippage. It can also be caused by weak pressure plate springs, a very worn clutch disc, a sticking clutch control cable, or too little clutch pedal free play. Those last two items need more explanation. Now, on modern systems, you don't have to worry about clutch pedal free play. Most cable operated clutches are self adjusting. Same with hydraulic clutches. The free play is a space before the release bearing contacts the pressure plate fingers. Think of it this way if there's too much pedal free play, there is a bigger space between the two. So when the clutch pedal is depressed, it takes longer for the release bearing to touch. The problem here is there is only so much distance the clutch pedal can travel. So now the clutch pedal is fully depressed, but the clutch is not fully released. Eh? Too much clutch pedal free play. This can make shifting difficult and cause gear clash. Moving on to the cable. If it is binding, at some point it will not fully release the clutch. So it will also cause hard shifting and gear clash. If the clutch pedal has too little free play, the release bearing could already be contacting the pressure plate fingers and partially be releasing the clutch. Now this is not to be confused with constant running release bearings. So since the clutch is partially released, this will cause clutch slippage. If the cable is binding at some point, it can cause a condition where the clutch stays partially released and will lead to clutch slippage. Let's talk clutch drag. This is when the clutch pedal is fully depressed, but the clutch disc is not fully released. This creates a hard to shift condition and gear clash. As mentioned, causes can be too much clutch pedal free play and a sticking clutch cable. Other causes of clutch drag are a seized pilot bearing, air in the hydraulic system, or an internal leak in the hydraulic system. Those last two would manifest as a soft clutch pedal. Last, we'll talk outside bearing noise. There's two bearings, the pilot bearing found behind the crankshaft and the release bearing, also known as the throwout bearing found on the shift fork. One note talked about in video number one is that a bad input shaft bearing could also be referred to as noise coming from the front of the transmission rather than inside. The release bearing will make noise when the clutch pedal is initially depressed right when the release bearing contacts the pressure plate's fingers. When the clutch pedal is initially depressed, a faulty pilot bearing will make noise after the clutch pedal is fully depressed. After the clutch pedal is fully depressed. I'll end the video with two official ASC practice questions. A clutch chatters during engagement following a clutch replacement. Which of these could be the cause? An incorrect throwout bearing, a bent release fork, stiff clutch linkage, or poor flywheel surface finish. The clutch does not release fully when the pedal is pushed to the floor. Any of these could be the cause except weak pressure plate springs, too much free pedal travel, a warped clutch disc, or a seized pilot bearing. See ya in video number three. We'll talk drive axles.